y'all, Catherine, a.k.a. Without a Crystal Ball, is making bank. Do you hear me? Cha-ching. She's making bank. I can't stand Catherine's horrible behavior and attitude, but I ain't gonna lie. The amount of views she has gotten lately is absolutely astonishing to me. The amount of super chats she gets is also astonishing. Yep, that's the word of the day, by the way. My word of the day. Y'all, stuff like this absolutely blows my mind. How such a horrible human who not only lies like a rug in your mama's floor can make a ton of money and makes videos calling people out over their finances. That's her and her husband's sole source of income is this YouTube channel, is it not? Let's just let Catherine tell us what her source of income is. Some of you guys have asked, like, what is it that you do for a living? <laughs> I can answer that really quick. So I have a column on Patheos where I write two to three articles a day. It's a, my column is very like all over the place. I write about pseudoscience. I write about alternative health. I write, I write about vaccines. I write about um, debunking like really bad and harmful like therapies that parents use on their children with autism. I talk about crime. I talk about child abuse. I'm a sucker for reality TV. I have so many different things that I talk about. I like makeup, so I talk about like beauty drama on YouTube. Um, and then I'm also an atheist, so sometimes I'll write about abuse in the church. My column is really busy. It's not my sole source of income, though. I also have this YouTube channel. And then on top of that, I'm also my son's paid personal care assistant. So when I'm not working here, I'm also being, uh, I, I paid to take care of my son who has multiple medical issues, a feeding tube, and uh, he's autistic. So um, that's what I do, and this is how I make my living. Now, first thing we're going to discuss is how she said she is an atheist, right? Well, y'all, this is one of her articles, okay? She talks about how difficult it is being a mother to her son who is disabled. Do y'all see where it says appointments I haven't made, medications I haven't reordered, therapists she hasn't talked to about progress, and the lingering doubts about what she is doing as a mom, parent, and human for her son? Excuse me, but you getting paid to be a a caretaker, and you have these feelings? Okay, so then she goes on to say, As the thoughts poured in about the life I envisioned versus the one I believe I was given by God. And y'all, okay, we can't go no further because if you an atheist, you don't believe in God. Okay? So I'm confused. And I know she is clearly confused. I know she also stated in numerous videos, not just that one, that she receives a 40-hour-a-week check from the government for her son. Basically, this is what that is. I just screenshot the law about the payments and stuff. And also, I don't know if her son also receives a Social Security check, but if he does... That means they receive a lot of government assistance while she makes bank, allegedly, off her YouTube channel. But, I mean, we see, we see the super chats, okay? We see the amount of views she still pulls somehow. Now, it don't matter if she paid for them views or if she paid for them subs. Let me tell you something. She's still getting paid for them views and them ads being ran and all that on her videos every month. So I guarantee you, she still makes bank every single month, period, which is interesting to me, to say the least. And she also, don't she still write on different sites and blogs? If so, calculate that in. Now, while I was doing a little more digging... I found this to be another interesting thing. Astonishing. Once again, word for the day. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Hey, if you can't laugh at yourself, what are you doing with your life? I'm just kidding. So, the criteria 
to be able to receive personal assistance services. So you got to fall within the description and allow cost of the personal assistance service category. Now, they did say you couldn't make over a certain amount. I did read all that. But I also found this article that was Katie talking to some tabloid. Yeah. Catherine of Minnesota said she has taken a temporary leave of absence from her $90,000 a year sales job because she can't find a regular nurse for her son. Now, as you say, this was a few years ago since it said her three-year-old son, who has a life-threatening disease and heart condition that require constant monitoring. His last nurse quit just before Christmas for a better-paying job at a hospital. Catherine said to make ends meet while she's at home. Catherine is considering whether to borrow money from her family or cash out her 401k retirement account. The system is failing us, Catherine said. You almost feel like you have no choice but to have people in your house that you don't even like because there's such a severe shortage. But you just said your son's nurse quit. But now you said you didn't like her. So did you fire her or did she quit? Can we get the nurse on line one, please? Nurse on line one. I have a major issue with this lady, Catherine, digging up and blasting other people's finances. But meanwhile, she is not squeaky clean. She now has an issue with people abusing the system. Some influencers have been abusing the system and using money in these loans, which are really designed for companies that really desperately need it. Oh, kind of like you quitting your $90,000 a year salary job because you didn't like the nurse in your house? Oh, oh, I mean, she quit? Yeah. So she don't like people abusing the system, basically, because that's exactly what she is doing, allegedly. Instead of hiring a professional to work with your disabled child, you decide, nah, I need that check. Roll that beautiful bean footage. They have to get to a point in, where they have... Hold on one second. You cannot have him screaming like that. Sorry, guys. My son is just like losing. I don't even know where he is. All I can hear him is screaming and my husband doesn't seem to care. Anyway. You have got to be kidding me, Katie Joy. The nerve you have. The nerve. If anybody yelled at my child like that, who I hired to take care of them, because aren't you getting paid to do that? But, yeah, if somebody I hired to take care of my child was in the other room and then goes in screaming, girl, you'd be fired. You would be fired. Oh, and you also want to discuss finances and talk horrible about other families. This is your career. This is how you pay your bills. This is how your home, big nice home, might I add, just got remodeled. Girl, I live in a single wide trailer, bust my ass, and still struggle every single day. And people like you live high on the hog and get paid to abuse the system. Put that in your damn cup and drink it. Chug a lug, chug a lug. Yeah, I'm hated. <laughs> Because the struggle is real, y'all. And this woman is out here making bank discussing folks' finances. Maybe she will use some of that money to buy a new chair and have a seat. Oh, and let's not forget about this little quote-unquote giveaway she did a few months ago. Did anybody actually receive any money or anything from Catherine? Or was it just her sock accounts? Alleged sock accounts. Sock accounts. <laughs> I just like saying that. But um, 
no, for real. Look, this was her giveaway rules. But notice, you wanted she wanted you to donate to her email, to her PayPal. <laughs> Y'all, why you want to donate to her giveaway? That she because she wanted you to donate to her to put in her pockets to put in her bank account. That's what that was allegedly. I mean, if it wasn't, email me and let me know if you received a hundred dollars from Catherine. Okay. Because in my opinion, I believe all that money went to her bank account. That was just another way of her collecting money. Scammer. Abusing the system. Allegedly. Now, here's where things get even more suspect to me. Yes, I said suspect. I mean, this is just the way I feel. My opinions. This is an article she has wrote, Catherine has wrote, describing... A day in the life of her. And a day in the night. In the life of her. Okay? The way she describes it is... I mean, it's like she has no time to do anything. Look, she done said her whole day, and it didn't have nothing to do with you two. She said, by dinner is over, and all I can think of is having ten minutes to myself. Where I'm... Excuse me? Well, you post longer than that on your YouTube channels. Channels. And when you post, they're clearly longer than 10 minutes. You're by yourself. So, yeah. She complains, and that's what it is. She complains a lot about her son and his disability. And I can't believe she publicly wrote this. I mean, girl, you were on here describing how hard your day is, but you literally post multiple videos every day on multiple platforms. How do you have time? Let me know. My kid is nine. She doesn't have disabilities, and I can barely post one short video due to being a mom. And I know that parents with disabled kids, man, they have it hard. They ain't got time to be posting all these videos. So how you have the time to make bank, bank on your YouTube channel is beyond. I am so sick and tired of seeing her make a living, a damn good living, exposing people and talking about finances. I'm over here thinking if this woman can pull this many views and be able to make this much money off this, hey, fair game, Catherine. I mean, y'all, come on now. Let's let's do. You, do we remember Catherine saying, "I don't make negative videos, girl. All your videos, Exhibit A, B, and C, are negative. You only post negative things about people, exposing, quote unquote, and then talking about folks' finances." Let me give you some advice, Catherine. Stop pointing fingers at others and highlighting their finances when your hands ain't clean, sis. If you want to be a journalist, this ain't the way to achieve that. But hey, what do I know? I'm over here living in a trailer. But hey, I'm not being sued, so there's that. Now, as long as she discusses the finances of quote-unquote public figures, we're going to discuss hers. Because didn't she say she was a public figure? Okay, good. Because I believe there's a lot of skeletons in her closet. And I personally think she is a bad person and she needs to change her ways. Like, for real. For real, for real. If you have any screenshots or video clips of Catherine raising money, asking for donations, etc., please email them all to me and we will discuss in an upcoming video. By the way, I've done some calculating. In the past four days alone, four days, Catherine has calculated up 277,700 views in four days. So, yeah, this heifer making bank. Ugh. And, yeah, I am salty over a bad person doing bad things, making money, a shit ton of money. While there's good people out here doing the right things, struggling. Ugh. That's what gets me the most. 
If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you. Please hit that little thumbs up button over there if you don't mind. And always comment and let me know what you think about this video. Please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and click the little bell so your notifications will be turned on. When you click the bell, be sure it's clicked to all so you will be notified every time I upload. I love y'all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.